Many new mothers find themselves facing a common dilemma, enjoying an occasional alcoholic drink while also prioritizing breastfeeding. The internet is awash with advice, often contradictory, leaving mums feeling confused and potentially depriving themselves unnecessarily. This essay aims to provide clear, evidence-based information about alcohol and breastfeeding, empowering mothers to make informed decisions. Navigating the world of breastfeeding can feel overwhelming, especially when it comes to understanding what's safe for both you and your little one. Alcohol is one of those topics shrouded in myths and misconceptions, often leading to unnecessary anxiety and potentially harmful practices like pumping and dumping. Our goal is to dispel these myths and present the facts about alcohol and breast milk. We'll explore how alcohol travels through your body, how it affects your breast milk, and what it means for your baby. Equipped with this knowledge, you can confidently make choices that align with your personal comfort levels and breastfeeding journey. Understanding how your body processes alcohol is the first step in understanding its impact on breast milk. When you enjoy a drink, the alcohol is absorbed into your bloodstream primarily through your stomach and small intestine. From there, it circulates throughout your body, reaching every organ, including your breasts. Your liver plays a crucial role in breaking down alcohol. It converts the alcohol into other substances, which are eventually eliminated from your body through urine. However, this process takes time. The more alcohol you consume, the longer it takes for your body to eliminate it completely. It's important to note that alcohol doesn't get trapped in your breast milk. The concentration of alcohol in your milk mirrors the concentration in your blood. As your blood alcohol levels rise and fall, so too do the levels in your milk. As alcohol circulates in your bloodstream, it naturally makes its way into your breast milk. This means that when you consume alcohol, your breast milk will contain a small amount of alcohol as well. The amount of alcohol that passes into your milk is directly proportional to the amount present in your blood. This means that if you have one standard drink, the amount of alcohol in your milk will be relatively low. Conversely, consuming multiple drinks will lead to higher concentrations of alcohol in both your blood and breast milk. The good news is that alcohol doesn't accumulate in breast milk. As your body eliminates alcohol from your system, the levels in your milk decrease simultaneously. This means that you don't need to pump and dump your milk after having a drink as the alcohol will naturally clear from your milk over time. Alcohol's impact, understanding the risks. While the occasional alcoholic drink is unlikely to cause significant harm to your baby, it's essential to be aware of the potential risks associated with alcohol consumption while breastfeeding. Even small amounts of alcohol can impact your baby's sleep patterns and development. Babies exposed to alcohol through breast milk may experience drowsiness, irritability, and difficulty feeding. In some cases, they may also have trouble gaining weight. Larger amounts of alcohol can have more serious consequences. High levels of alcohol in breast milk can lead to intoxication in babies, causing weakness, decreased muscle tone, and even breathing problems. Long-term exposure to alcohol through breast milk can also hinder cognitive development and increase the risk of learning disabilities. It's crucial to remember that babies metabolize alcohol much more slowly than adults. This means they are more susceptible to its effects, even at lower concentrations. Debunking the myth pump and dump. The practice of pumping and dumping after consuming alcohol is a common misconception. Many mothers believe that this will remove the alcohol from their breast milk and make it safe for their babies. However, this simply isn't true. As we've learned, alcohol doesn't accumulate in breast milk. Instead, it mirrors the levels in your blood. Pumping and dumping your milk will not speed up the elimination of alcohol from your system. The only thing that will lower the alcohol content in your milk is time as your body naturally metabolizes and eliminates the alcohol. Not only is pumping and dumping ineffective, but it can also be inconvenient and potentially counterproductive. Removing breast milk without feeding your baby can disrupt your supply and demand cycle. Additionally, it can lead to engorgement and discomfort. 
Timing is key breastfeeding after alcohol. The safest approach is to avoid breastfeeding while your blood alcohol concentration is elevated. As a general rule of thumb, it takes approximately two to three hours for your body to eliminate one standard drink. However, this can vary depending on factors such as your weight, metabolism, and how much you've eaten. If you plan on having an occasional alcoholic drink, consider timing it after a breastfeeding session. This will allow your body time to metabolize the alcohol before your baby's next feed. If you're unsure about the alcohol content of your milk, you can use a test strip designed specifically for breast milk. It's important to remember that every mother and baby is different. What works for one may not work for another. Listen to your body, observe your baby's cues, and consult with your healthcare provider if you have any concerns. Making informed choices. Your body, your baby. The decision of whether or not to consume alcohol while breastfeeding is a personal one. There's no right or wrong answer, and ultimately, the choice is yours. The most important thing is to be informed about the facts and make choices that align with your values and priorities. If you choose to abstain from alcohol while breastfeeding, that's perfectly fine. Your baby will still receive all the nutrients they need from your milk. However, if you choose to enjoy the occasional alcoholic drink, do so responsibly and in moderation. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. Don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider, lactation consultant, or other trusted sources for guidance and support. By staying informed and making conscious choices, you can enjoy the benefits of breastfeeding while also prioritizing your own well-being.